I find that as you segregate yourself from the worlds of yourself, you start to narrow your options to the point where you will not be yourself. So you have to always be aware of that. Because many times things that are philosophical in nature are great in your mind, but they don't work when they're out in the air. So uh, my feeling always when I'm playing music or writing it is I want to be able to come up with something that has a deep internal logic and is full of information and pregnant information, but I also want the audience to be able to enjoy it. I'm not a, sometimes I impose things on people, but I'm not trying to do that. We're like sometimes the things are long and all that, but I'm still trying at all times to come up with something that has enough reference material and has enough of a, a human richness that you don't feel like you've been in school. Um, I, it's just, it's, it's an ambition of mine. I, it's something that I do think about when I'm playing and when I'm writing music. And the last part of the fifth movement is the famous progression from So What and that features the piano rhythm section stretches out and soprano, we, that can be open, anybody can solo on that and this kind of goes back to the orchestra playing something on that and we play on it, then it, it, it builds up with a really big kind of uh, brash open background of all of us playing with some of James Black's music on top of it with something that kind of sound reminds me of him, I always love his music, I try to put him in stuff because that's what, what I grew up uh, with him, we got the French horns playing the screaming part and the trumpets in the upper register and timpani playing some stuff and the clacks on the drums, kind of sounds that I would deal with when I wrote All Rise. I try to keep them going in my sound. And uh, the sixth movement is missing and the seventh movement starts with just some country blues. Like, But it's, it's, it's in a modern context, it does not use the blues progression. I don't. It's, it's just a progression I invented. And it has, uh, I'm thinking of it like vistas. Like a, something I did a long time ago called Modern Vistas as far as the eye can see. It's also kind of coming out of a, a, a piece in 5-4 that I wrote. Uh, it's called Church Renewing Vows on a, on a piece in, in a, a ballet with, with Alvin Ailey uh, called, called Sweet Release with what I have the bouncing of the piano. And I have the horns going wah, 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 wah. To me, it represents the revolution of the earth and the spinning. And uh, have the real high soprano saxophones. It reminds me of like children. And I have the kind of sounds of nature in the woodwinds. And I have the brass even playing flugelhorns, like a kind of autumn sounds like autumn. Like it's you're in the autumn of your life. And at that point, it's like we're coming to a close. And uh, it goes from six four to five four. It goes from four four to five four to six four. And it ends in six. I go to the African six. Then we go into the church six or the twelve eight. The church church twelve church six. And then we go to a kind of wistful thing, like now you're, you're actually in the winter part, like you're, you're coming to a close. And that's to me with somebody when they're at the end of their life, they become very wistful. And it's more wistful. And you're thinking about all the things that you loved about being alive. And it goes with the saxophone section and it's not heavily orchestrated. And then the brass come in with cup mutes and we play. It's all, I tried to be as lyrical as I could also just a, a, my own progression. It's not uh, anything that would be found anywhere else. And uh, at the end, it's like we go back to when we're children. It ends with the trumpets of the orchestra playing like a toy soldier. Boop, 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 beep, 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 boop, boop. It's like they just, they're playing around. And then I play a little coda, which is supposed to be kind of impish and just like, okay, this is what I did. And then you just, that was it. That's what you did. Sometimes that's what I was trying to do.